her heart. I don't know that. What do you mean you don't know? A full grown man like you, you don't know what you want. I want to see Emma. Where is Emma? You cannot see Emma. See her, do you know? I want to see Emma. You can't see Emma. See her, do you know? And even if you want to see her, me, I don't know who she is. Don't you don't, you don't know who Emma is. I don't know who she is. How come you told me she came to see me and I was sleeping? Did you come? You came out here to receive that Please, let's just walk around. Don't go inside. Get man, get man, please open the gate. I want to go and see Emma. Uh, excuse me. Respect yourself, man. You know you are not fully recovered. Go. Go back to your seat. You never go with your game. Go here. Why don't you want me to go and see Emma? Because Emma is in Abuja. She is happily married. She is married and she lives with her husband in Abuja. Her husband? Yes. Married? Yes. That is the more reason you have to forget about Emma. And think about yourself. You are doing yourself more harm than good. Emma is living her life, enjoying herself in Abuja. And here you are wasting your own life. You. And I did not mean wasting your life. I mean, I mean enjoying your life. Just wanna be happy. Oh, yeah. I've been going through a lot in my life Wishing to find a peace I've been going through a lot in my life Hoping to meet the right person Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh Love is about the hurt and not about the material things. Oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers. Do you, do you like cartoon? Do you watch cartoon? Like, tell it to be. I get it. I want to show you something. Hope you don't mind. This is me <laughs> in my NIT orientation camp, marching. You know how all these uh, uh, military people can be very mean with copper. Stand here! Do this! When the governor comes, sometimes they say, show is our uh, camp. They have to chase for the governor. You know it, Abby? Yeah, I was matching. It's because of my hips. That's why I'm not matching well. Not like. Okay, let me move this one. Like you don't like this one. Okay, this one. Campus. And I'm in campus. This one. This particular sleep pass I had it for three years. See, these three people now, we did cultural day in school. Ibo, Aousa, and Yoruba. <laughs> don't like my pictures, sorry. You have pictures in your phone. Yeah. I heard you are a trained doctor. Trains doctor behaving like this. Hey, how do you not treat your own patients? See, this is the more reason you have to pick the pieces of your life and stand up. This woman, she has moved on with her life. You, you are keeping your life in one place, and it's not good. Hey? Now you are a trained doctor. Doctors are the ones that treat patients. It's not patients that will treat doctor. Okay, now that I'm not.
I wonder why such a handsome guy should go through all of this. Whatever is happening to that young man, his cost by his mother, his mother is a good cost. What is happening to me? Mama, if she had allowed these children to be, what is happening will not be happening now. Mama, I don't think, I think Emma did not love me in the first place. Who told you that? I had a discussion with her. Dave? David, what, what's going on? Bro. Welcome. Thank you. Who are you? My name is Ijoma, Madam Stella's daughter. Hmm. I see. But how, how long has it been like this? For a while now. Why? I don't know, his father said it's called trauma. Maybe from past experiences or something, I don't know. But he said he would come around. That's what the doctor, his father said. Me. But why are you doing this to yourself? You're worried about another girl that's married to another man. Please, who is Emma? Emma is his ex. And she's married to another man now. Good to be I brought juice for you so that you will drink. Let me open this. Yeah? I brought juice for you, David. Bro. I don't want any juice. Don't you get it? Emma is what I want. He's not getting any different. He keeps calling Emma, 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 Emma. Emma. That girl. The day I left here, I called her. <laughs> and I was very surprised that she doesn't have my number too on her phone. And I'm sure she doesn't even have David's number too. I thought you removed her. Oh, so I thought, I actually thought they loved each other, but it is obvious that David loved her more than she loved him. And that was why she immediately ran off to marry another man. Hmm. Hold up the corner. It's very embarrassing. I think that is... I think with this, it's the more reason David has to move on with his life as soon as possible. He has to forget about that. I agree with you. Um, but please, I want you to support him. He, he really needs that emotional and mental support right now. And I understand that this is not your plan, or this was not your plan after your NYC. But please just help him. To think that Emma is married means she was seeing her husband and David at the same time. Yes, because her marriage was so sudden. It's obvious. I can read in between lines. My she point, was double dating. My point exactly. I just feel for him. I feel so sorry for him. So how is he? He's sleeping. What? He's sleeping, Mama. Sleeping. That young man has not slept for days. He's sleeping. How did you do it? I just wanna be happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find a peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. Hoping to meet the right person Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, 
Why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material things. Oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers. Do you, do you like cartoon? Do you watch cartoon? Like, tell it to be. Get it. Um, I want to show you something. Hope you don't mind. This is me <laughs> in my NIC orientation camp marching. You know how all these uh, uh, military people can be very mean with copper. Stand here! Do this! When the governor comes, sometimes they still show this is our camp. They have to cheer for the governor. You know it, Abby. The <laughs> way I was marching. It's because of my hips. That's why I'm not marching well. It's not like. Okay, let me remove this one. It's like you don't like this one. Okay. See this one. Campus. And I'm in campus. <laughs> this particular sleep pass, I had it for three years. See, these three people now, with this cultural day in school, Igbo, Aousa, and Yoruba. You don't like my pictures, sorry. You have pictures in your phone. Yeah. I heard you are a trained doctor. He trains doctor behaving like this. Hey! How do you not treat your own patients? See, this is the more reason you have to pick the pieces of your life and stand up. This woman, she has moved on with her life. You, you are keeping your life in one place and it's not good. Eh? Now you are a trained doctor. Doctors are the ones that treat patients. It's no patient that will treat doctor. Okay, now that I'm not... I do not even know who to blame for his predicament. The mother or Emma. And I feel so sorry for him, Mama. What he's going through could have happened to anybody. The news of Emma's marriage broke into a thousand pieces. He devastated that boy. This is what we call pure love. Even when he has found out that Emma is married to another man, he has refused to accept the glaring reality. But I still maintain that prophecy is the reason for what has happened to that boy. You're not far from the truth, Mama. Oh, Mama, you see these big men children, they don't take rubbish. They don't take nonsense. Patience, they like it. You see that day that prophecy sorted again? When she asked her to get out of the house, that was the day she started to accept the other man's proposal. You think so? I know so. Mama, I'm a girl. You see, Kennedy has been in the picture long before she even met him. Hmm. Girls. It's the truth. It's just that she was just trying to choose who is best for her. You understand? But Pop had to help her make the decision. Because after her encounter with Prof, the poor girl decided to roll with the adulterer big boy. And she married one out of the other one. <laughs> Who won't do that? Mama, see, here, let me tell you. You see David, you see Emma. I don't think they were ever meant for each other. She was just between these two men, Kennedy and David. She was trying to choose who's best for her. And see, uh, uh, David now, the mother was misbehaving. Who wants to uh, uh, choose, choose the other person? Because who wants to enter fire? The way Prof is behaving, you know, she will be scared now. And after all, well, she will have love. She has somebody to choose from. If it's like other guests now that have not even seen somebody to say hello to them, to talk of hi to them, eh, eh, at least you will not start complaining. But then they have two suitors. Eh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they have the right to choose. It's your mother! Please,
them up. What are you doing, man? Listen, are you sent for me? Yes, I did. I want us to talk. Sit down. So, Ijama, you are doing a great job with David. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, you're done with your NYSC? Yes, sir. I am thinking of uh, employing you to continue taking care of David. Before, so that I can fully come back to his feet. Mom, I, do, I don't want to. That's not the kind of job I want for myself. Oh, I was thinking a job is a job. What kind of job do you design for yourself? Ma, as a young graduate, I want to go out to the streets and look for a good job, a good paying job, so I can liberate my family from poverty. You know, some children are opportunity today to be born with silver spoon. Why some are born into lack and hardship? I happen to be one of them. I know what it took my mother to train me in the university, and I still have younger ones. So I would want to have a good job so I can assist her in training them. Um, I am thinking of employing you, you know, instead of jumping under the scorching sun for a job hunt, looking for where you'll be employed. I am thinking of gainfully employing you to continue taking care of David until he's fully back on his feet. So, yeah, with all due respect, ma'am, I don't want, I want an office job. I don't want to be a man. Ah, uh, it's just, it's, it's not as if this is coming with nothing. I will pay you weekly. I'll pay you 50,000 naira every week until David is fully back on his feet. 50,000 naira weekly? Mm -hmm. That's what you'll be paying me, like weekly, not monthly. Yes, like okay. weekly. That means 200,000 a month. Yes, a um, so month can come with five weeks. So it's 250. How did she call it? For a job opportunity. To be a man is to be. I did not send you to the university to graduate and then choose a job of a nanny. What is that? Money you don't ask how much is this money. I don't care. I do not care what it is. Did you accept? No. I told you I want to work in the office. I do not want to work as a nanny. Good. Only one should consider David first. Hey, John, mm. whatever is happening to that boy is our, it's our own business. She is the assistant of her own misfortune. You should not put it on me. No! 50,000 is For what? You still have a week. That's what she will be paying me. Uh, even at that. Yes, Mama? <coughs> 50,000 is too. <coughs> That's 200,000 a month. It does, okay. Even less than 1 million. That's too. Mama's too big. Hey, Jama. Hey, Jama. I am really impressed as your work as uh, David's nanny. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Actually, I should be the one thanking you so much because I noticed he's doing well. Even though the, the work is happening, it's a heavy task, but you're doing it with all diligence. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, I have noticed something. I don't know how you did it, that David was able to forget Emma. Because I noticed for some time I have not been mentioning that name around here. Thank you so much for the way you are taking care of my son. Ma, it's God. It's God in heaven that did it, not me. Thank you. You're welcome. What is it? We agreed on the salary, right? And that is salary for the week, 50,000 there. Oh, ma, please, can you take it for one moment? No. I'm sorry, ma, I don't, I don't need, no, I need the money, but I don't want it, ma. 
But you worked for it, you earned it. Yes, I know. It's money. Yes, ma, but I have decided not to take anything from you. What? Ma, please, just see it this way. What if David were to be my brother? Won't I take care of him? I will take care of him without demanding for anything. All I want is for David to get better, for him to get back on his feet. Then I will go out there and look for a good job. Honestly, I don't want, I don't know what to say. Ah, I, I am kind of stressed. Ma, please come be. You've been very kind to my mother. She has been with you for years. You and your husband. You two have been taking good care of her, paying her, her salary. David is like a brother to me. This is the least I can do for him. If she thinks it, it's okay. Possessive behavior that caused him the trauma. Now you are laughing. Honey, but I've said I am sorry already. Is it not enough? Is it not enough? You are sorry. I'm rubbing it on my face. Okay, I, I hope you learn from it. Honey, once David bounces back on his feet now, he is free to love any girl of his choice. Whether from a rich background, whether from a poor background, in fact, from any tribe. Even the lowest of tribe, I don't care. Don't mind. Let me just be happy. Are you serious right now? Ah, serious. Very serious. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So, <laughs> how about this? Uh, uh, Dad, I want to step out and see someone. Are you sure you'll be fine? Yeah, sure. Yeah. See you soon. Okay. Wow. Honey? Hmm. Do you notice know something? What? David did not talk to me. He didn't even behave as if he noticed anybody like me yet. Are you expecting any response from me?
What? Well, yes, now. But you know I'm not good at guessing. What is it? Okay. David stepped out of the house. Which David? The one you know also that person is not. David. Yes. How come? I don't know. Hey, hey. That young man is in a perfect condition. Yes. Mom. David drove out of the house. Yes. Am I sure he's fit enough to drive out? Perfectly okay. You need to see the surprise on his parents' faces when you are moving out. I am so happy. Hey! David, this is a miracle. I'm so happy for him. I can't wait for him to come back home. Of course you see him. He'll come back. He's not going to sleep there now. But he'll surely come back. Immediately I just left, he just left. Sure, like that. He will surely come back. He's not going to sleep there. Ah ah! So I went out and David went out. Too. Sure. Yay! God That boy is so handsome. Ujama, you young girls, you don't really move your eyes from these handsome men. You look at them, jump, 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 jump. You, Ujama, Mama, it's not a bad thing. Ah, someone can wish for anything they want in this life. After all, ask and shall be given to you. Me, I wish to marry somebody like this. A handsome man like him, a man that has more of grabinos, you know, a man that is, you know, at Moby, a very fed man. <laughs> Prof, you just have your head. Yeah! Like that. Mama, no, what is it? Why? Is she the one that we're going to marry her? After all, it's not, it's not David I'm talking, I'm, I'm talking about. I just said I wish to marry somebody like him. I did not say David. I said the phone button like it. You're asking me that question. Ijama. 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 I'm actually trying to call you. Good. Whoa. <laughs> How do you know this thing? I know this thing. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm just going to try it on again. Wow, that's wow. amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Um, thank you so much. Yeah. You're really good then. Hello. Um, um, sorry, what's your name? Oh, my name is Sophia. How about you? Um, my name is Dr. David. Dr. David? Yeah. Okay, so what happened to you? Um, I just visited with you today. Mm -hmm. So I was starting work at my dad's private visit. Oh, your dad is a medical doctor? Yes. Nice. There you go. <laughs> I guess your mom is a doctor as well. Not really, not really. My mom is a lecturer at the State University. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Professor Gloria. That's your mom? Yes. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't know. I would love to see you more next year. I don't know if I can tell you Fine. My phone is in the car, but I can just. I will just see my phone station and then drop it here. I think this is the right time to get a good job for myself. I can't wait for you to be gainfully employed, my daughter. Mama, I just need a good job so I can wipe away your tears. 
you surely have one. That's the truth. That's my prayer for you every day. To see that you have to become a housekeeper so you can take care of us. It's something I hold dear to my heart. Thank you so much. David. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. Do you, do you want something? Uh, not really, I just can't speak to that. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that all? That's all. Okay. I'll do my room. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'm so happy. So happy that he's on his feet again. Perfect. Hey, Jorma. Me too, I'm happy.
You're a beautiful lady. You're as beautiful as your heart. She's gone. She's gone now. We just quickly step in, have a shower, and get prepared to come see you, okay?
I love them as much as they love me. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. I mean, Ijeoma gave up a white collar job just to be with you and to see you get back on your feet. And I try to pay her back. <laughs> I see you've been around to take you. What's your name? Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Mm. My name is Ichoma. I'm Madame Tella's first child. Really? You're Madame Tella's daughter? You're really beautiful. I'm happy you're okay. Um, thank you for playing a part in my problem. I owe you my life. No, you don't owe me your life. You owe God your life. Not small time. Mm -hmm. I'll repay your kind of thing. I was, I was writing a check of one million naira so that's not only ten. No, I don't want. No, I don't. I don't need. I, I don't want the money from you. I did not give it for the money. One millionaire. I don't. Want. I tried to pay her back, but she declined. She refused to collect my money. Well, she fell in love with you, and that was why she refused the one million you offered her. I know. I know, but I just wish I never met Sophia, you know. Funny enough, I met her on my way to come see you. And that's how life just took a new turn in that chapter. And that's how life took a different turn, and I fell in love. Well, if you ask me, I'd say you focus on Ijeoma. She deserves all your attention. There's no need to double date. You know, she doesn't go to ask me questions. Like who I'm with, she doesn't care about anybody. She loves me selflessly. More reason she offered me her virginity. What? Yeah, bro. She gave you her virginity? Yeah, she gave me... Probably she needs to the plot, but I didn't ask why she gave it to me. Look, I was on the call with Sophia the other day and she just got into my room and just opened up that Kobe body of hers. Bro, what did you expect me to do? Then why didn't you decline? Declined? Yes. Have you seen me, Joma? Oh no, oh no. Have you seen... Okay, no, no, you haven't. She's beautiful. Wait. So, let me ask you a question. If you had to make a choice, who would you choose? <sighs> Bro, look, I'm stuck in between. 
sofa on one end, the classy, beautiful, you know, kind of lady I'll choose over and over again and this is your man on the other end, beautiful <laughs> in and out. Bro, look, I'm confused, man. Confused. Bro, I mean, it is ridiculous. You can't love two women equally. No, that's oh. the case. You want to be polygamous in nature? Your father was never polygamous. No, mm. I'm not, you know. I'm not. Oh my god. What? What's keeping this guy? What's he keep me waiting for eternity? I've not told you that you can keep Rachel waiting. Okay. Okay. Why are you staring at me like that? Because I'm gonna looking at you. I'll I'll do my own. I shouldn't serve your food in the dining. Part, he couldn't see her for it. 
Take back my pleading. He refused. Oh my God. Where's the cook? He left. My only daughter. Huh? What is going on? Hi. See what has become of you. Sometimes I get amazed at the way time flies. <laughs> Just look at him. The small boy of yesterday. Now he's uh, 29. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. I think it's time uh, you did the need for. No, I don't understand. Ah, come on. I mean, what's so difficult to understand here? You broke up with Emma a long time ago, and then we were expecting you to bring someone else home by now. Hmm? That I know. Um, I'm just taking my time. Baby. You have been given all the time on this whole world. Introduce to us the girl you are seeing. Simple. Yes. No, I need more time. I'm just trying to put things properly. I need more time. David, you're 29. You should be considering marriage right now. What other family are you looking for? Look, David. It will surprise you to know that uh, we get that. To when I was 28, you can imagine a man. That's here you go again. Ah, look, this is the 21st century. David. Mom. You have a time for you. And it starts counting from now. To propose to a girl and bring her home to us. What is all this? You are 29 and still single. Besides, you are only child and the only male child of the family. Mom, oh, I know. That's why I said, give me more time. Like, I'm putting things in place. Besides, I don't want to make a mistake in picking a spouse. It's, a good, it's going to be big trouble for me. And I'm not cutting for all that. So just give me more time, please. Unfortunately, David, you don't have time. I mean, look at us. We're getting old and uh, we need grandchildren. Of course. Please, you that. Okay? So if you are finding it difficult to find someone to bring home, and I'm afraid we are going to intervene. And in that case, you will have to make do with our choice. <laughs> no, 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 Dad. No, look. I will make my own choice for myself, please. Okay, just give me time. David, do all you have to do. That thing you ought to do, do it immediately. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Go and enter the car. You are going to rehab. Mama, let me be. Honey, honey. She's going to rehab. Better enter the car. I know what to do. Adam. 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 Go into the car. I don't want your to okay? I don't want you to win that romantic issue. Let me get enter the car and go to rehab. Oh, she's going there now. Go, go, go. Move. Dad. Wrong with me. I'm fine. I know, I know. Let's just go. Let's go. Huh? You are fine. I'm, I'm good. You are good. You are yeah, good. I'm good. I'm very good. good. Nothing is wrong with me. I'm fine. Boo. You are good. Go. Oh, yeah, let's go. Okay, let's just go out. I'm taking you to go out. Where? Go where? Huh? Go with you. Enter the car. We're going somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Dad. I go with you. Happy birthday. Sorry. Sorry, I was not able to make it. But I told you. My interview and your birthday clashed. Anyways, you stood me up yesterday. I was waiting for you to turn up. I didn't turn up. I'm sorry. Circumstance beyond my control. I may, I promise I'll make it up to you. It's okay. And so where are you going? I don't want to step out. I don't want to quickly see my friend. I'll be back in a different. Okay. Oh. 
Um, Eji, hmm? I have something to say. What's that? My my parents asked me to bring my dear wife I want to marry. Yes, the woman I want to marry. Really? Yeah, and um, I want to go give her some money so that she could get some clothes and look good on that day. You want to go give her some money? Okay, she, she, she doesn't know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, congratulations to her. She's very lucky. Mm -hmm. Lucky to help you. I'll see you soon, okay? to whatever is between you and David. It's not as easy as you're saying it, Mama. Ijoma, if that thing gets out of hand, do you know what will happen to us here? We will automatically be thrown out of this house. There will be no need for that. Unfortunately, he's already on his way now. So go and propose to the woman here. Who told you that, loves? Who told you that? He told me himself. The two of you are close to each other. Even the blind man feels exactly what you feel for yourself. His choice of choosing another person over you is what I don't really understand. And it is the reason you should just put an end to this whole thing. I love him so much, Mama. I love him. It's not easy. Hey, John. He has not gone to choose somebody over you. How do you feel about it? I feel so sad. I feel so terrible, Mama. If a two-player had told me that David, after confessing all his love for me, would leave me to go and propose to someone else, I swear I would have believed. I didn't know how to express myself when I'm sad, but I'm heartbroken, Mama. It's okay. Why do you stay? Hmm? A good man will come ask for your hand in marriage. Hmm? Kill whatever feelings you have for him. Happy birthday, my love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So how was your birthday celebration? It was fine. It was good, right? Yeah. You didn't invite me to your birthday celebration, so I had to wait here for you. But anyway, since you're here, I have a surprise for you. Really? Mm-hmm. I, I also have a surprise for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, you want to hear? Yes, of course. Oh. Um, I, um, my parents said I should bring the girl I want to marry for introduction. Me? Yeah. So you're taking me? Um, mm, as soon as I'm leaving here, I'm going straight to her house to give her some money to get some nice clothes. I don't understand. Wait, you? I should have known you're a cheat. So you've been cheating on me all this while? Really? Calm down. Why are you sorting out the board? I don't understand you now. You've been cheating on me all this while. Please. Oh, I see. You've been sampling me, eh? You've been having sex with me. Just... It's good. It's all right. It's fine. I mean... I thought you loved me. You just kept telling me you love me, you love me, and... You have someone else you want to get married to. 
Babe, look, it's, it's, it's no, it's no. You know what? You're stupid. You are stupid. You're a fool. It hasn't got to the name Colin. Yes, it has gotten to that. You know what? Just leave my house. Okay? I'm done. Just leave my house. Leave! In fact, you can stay here if you want to stay. But I don't want to see you when I get back. I'm going to do something to you. Stop now. Stop this tears. It's enough. Stop asking me to prepare vegetable and periwinkles. Let's get to work. You know it. If it is not done on time, you know her. She'll start yelling. I don't want anybody to yell her. Nidhi, will you stop? I know what to do now. I think tomorrow when they are leaving this house. Why? Okay, the shows are not over you. Did I not warn you? I'm after everything. Everything is so sad, I feel so bad. Hey, John. I told you, I warned you. Collect whatever monetary offer that is coming from that end. It's in back. Now you have lost everything. And you can if somebody walks in here now and ask why you are shedding tears, what will you expect to tell that David broke my heart. <laughs> that David broke your heart. Can you imagine that guy? I see him. <laughs> Look at what he's doing. <laughs> Really? Oh, you <laughs> Very, very black. So obvious. Are you okay? Um, babe, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Okay. I never should have told you this a long time ago. What is it? Say it already. What is it? <laughs> I am the proud prince of my kingdom. I don't, I don't understand. You made you a prince? Yes. How come I don't know about it? I mean, how come you didn't tell me all this why? Oh, uh, Dave, what's up, man? So how did it go? Um, did you tell the Gemma about it?
David sent men. In. Mama, see what David sent to me. David just sent me 300,000. He said I should use the 300,000 he just sent to me to get a dress. I've seen his parents this weekend. I don't understand. Is everything all right with him? I understand. I know that face. Why me? Why did you choose me? I mean, of all the girls you've seen in this world, of all the girls you've come across, you choose me? Me? I have been through so much in the hands of girls. And when I found you, I had peace. I am so glad that I found true love. That's all I've ever wanted. God. God, who am I? Who am I that you have shown me mercy? <laughs> you are a prince. You are a good lady and you deserve it. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just I'm feeling hot. I know. <laughs> I know that feeling. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay. What about your parents? Are you sure they will accept me? <laughs> well, at this point, they don't have a choice but to accept you because I choose you. Okay. But what about the princess? The princesses? I mean, your sister. <laughs> um, possibly. So I'm the first. Three girls and one boy. Your parents, I don't know. I what don't... is it? Calm down, calm down, relax. Okay, hey, look. Okay, take a deep breath. Okay, I love you and I want to be with you. So, my mother has no choice but to accept you, okay? So, just relax. Hmm? I don't know, I just wish you were not happy. I don't know, I don't know how I'm feeling. Hey, 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 hey. hey. No, you should not. Just easy. Easy, okay? Easy. Allow me to handle it. Okay? Just calm down. Mama, oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Calm down. Okay? Sit away, sit away, sit away. I think you said that way. Calm down, look at how good it is. You're a prince. It's so sweet. Wow! <laughs> so each is finally the chosen one. Hmm. My friend. Okay. Here he has a job for now. Wow! <laughs> I'm so happy. So happy. Hey. Relax. I need to be like, calm down. Okay? You see them, so. Thank you. 
I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you made you. the right choice. Thank you, though. Thank you.
I found peace in you. I found joy.